Hi, I'm Erock, Program Director for the Tough Fighter Boot Camp. Today, we have the 10 minute cardio hit workout. Five exercises, no equipment needed. Let's get to it. The first movement, squat jacks. Here we go. Down to the floor and back to the top. Here we are. Moving for 45 seconds, we're gonna be trying to get that heart rate up, that body warm. We're gonna rest 15 seconds in between each of these five movements. Remember, on these squat jacks, Keep the heels down, the chest up nice and tall, and arms moving all the way up and over the top of the head. You're doing great, we're just starting. Remember, two rounds is quite a lot. So pace yourself. The workout today is designed to be scaled to your ability. Just keep working out and just keep pushing yourself each and every day. Here we go. Down here for 10 more seconds. Getting warm, nice. Hitting the ground, touching those toes. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome, nice, perfect. Now, Kendall is gonna be doing our modification moves for this next one, which is the Spider-Man push-up. Get ready, because here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Plank position, push-up, bringing that knee up nice and high each time. There we are. Remember, keep those shoulders over the top of the wrist. Move consistently and feel free to modify like Kendall is doing off to my right. You've got it guys, stay with it. 45 seconds of work can feel like an eternity in the first round or just getting that body moving. Here it is. How are you feeling squad? Nice, good stuff. Down and back up. Keep those push-ups moving. Chest down for 10 more seconds. Bringing them up. Five, four, three, you're almost there. Two, one, and time. Good stuff. Great job. Grab a quick breath. Get yourself back underneath. How you feeling? Woo. Doing awesome? Very good. That was a lot of push-ups. 45 seconds can feel like an eternity, right? Here we go. Into our next move which is the Russian twist. Three, two, one, butt on the ground. Now, watch, feet are gonna stay off the ground. I'm gonna follow my hands with my eyes, moving side to side, keeping these movements consistent, keeping that core tight. Now, something I like to do right here is squeeze my heels together. It helps with the torso moving in that manner that I wanted to move in and not my legs dominating this thing. Now, notice how Kendall has her foot on the ground. A great way to modify this because I know Carla and I are starting to feel our abs already, yeah? <laughs> nice, you guys got it. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Keeping it moving. In five, four, three, break is coming. Two, one, and up. Awesome, guys, here we go. We're gonna keep these intervals high or you know, the intensity high through these intervals, and then really capitalize on that rest time. We're moving into ice skaters next. These are explosive, they're one of my favorites. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll out this side, up and down. Now these ones, the key point on the ice skater is to keep the knee over the top of the ankle while you're moving. There we go. We're driving off the outside of the foot moving side to side. You guys got it. I know those quads are burning already. How are you guys feeling back there? Perfect. Now, you notice Kendall. She has a really nice step to the side. You don't need to jump on each one. You can step over. Your call, it's your scale, it's your workout. Fitness is a journey, remember that. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Here we are. I like it. Carla, how are you feeling? Beautiful. Let's roll. We got five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Woo My backside is turned on. I bet yours is too, huh? Quad. <laughs> Quad. Nice. Rounding this thing out, burpees. Oh man, everybody's favorite. Three, two, one, down and up. Chest goes to the deck. Now, what I want to make clear is notice how my feet come out nice and wide. That's going to help put you in a proper squat position so you can stand and finish the movement. This is essential. 
to keep that back from rounding. Now, you notice Kendall has uh, her body in a plank position. She's not going all the way to the deck. She's keeping herself organized and working up to that full burpee one day. Good job, guys. Here we go. Keep it moving for 10. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, that was the end of round one. We're not gonna stop there though. And we're clearing fatigue for that second round. We're coming up to it. Here we go. We're starting with those squat jacks in three, two, one, and begin. Down and up, remember, heels down on the ground, chest up tall. Extend those arms over the top of the head. I know you've got that sweat going already. The heart rate is up. That is what make, makes this workout so great. Keep it going. How are we doing squat? Nice. All the way down, all the way back up. This is doing nothing but good for those hips. Full range of motion. Yeah, guys, you are getting fitter with every single rep. Closer to your goal of becoming the best possible version of yourself, guys. We've got 10 seconds left. I know you can do it. It's starting to burn. I'm feeling my hamstrings. Let's go for five. Four, you gotta break. Three, two, one, and rest. That is quite a bit of squat jacks. Nice. Here we go. We're rolling into those Superman push ups next. Remember, scale accordingly. Let's go down on our hands and, and feet in three, two, one. Planked out position. Dropping it in, picking it back up. Now, notice I'm picking that knee up to the elbow with each rep now. I'm scaling it up slightly, but either way, my core is engaged. My shoulders are right over my wrists and we're staying moving. These can get spicy. Remember, you can scale this down to a simple plank hold with that knee pull. You got it here, guys. Stay with it. The goal is just work for that interval period. 45 seconds can feel like an eternity, but this is where we harness that mental grit. 10 seconds. Come on. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yes, you're doing it. You've got it done. We are getting closer and closer to the end of this thing. We've got Russian twists coming up. Oh, giving our arms a break. We're gonna go back to that core in five, four, three, two, one, and move. Nice. Now, a key point here once again, follow your hands with your eyes. You want your torso to get this full rotation side to side. You're capturing not only front, top, and bottom abs, you're also capturing those obliques out to the side. And once again, as you can see the modification, just put those feet on the ground. You can work up to it. You can work up to those feet staying off the ground for the entire 45 second duration. Now, if you're an expert, there's also ways you can scale it up. You can also grab some kind of weighted implement. Medicine ball, kettlebell, you make the choice. 10 seconds, let's keep rolling for five. That's it, in three, two, one, and wow. Abs are there, yeah, that's working. Perfect, now, ice skaters are next. These are gonna burn, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be good, but we're gonna make it happen in five. Four, three, two, one. Now watch me as I go down, dropping it side to side, just like so. Once again, driving off the outside of that hip. Let's look at some modifications here. On this, they're gonna step side to side. You still get that same outside of the hip activation, that abduction of the hip, but we're just gonna modify it. Now, you can work up. You can scale up to that jump and develop that power. Awesome. Let's finish these things out together. Here we go. I gotta work out. I, got, I, I can't stop moving. <laughs> we gotta keep this thing rolling. Let's go for 10 more seconds, y'all. You got it. We were so close to the end of this thing. Stay moving. You got it, you got it. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Bring it to the top. Awesome. Guys, we have one extra exercise, one last exercise before we close it out the burpee. Once again, I want you to give it your all 
right now. You can do this. Finish it off with me. Let's hit the ground running. Let's go. Down and up. Clap over the head. Chest to the deck or modify to that plank position. Awesome. You can move fast. You can move slow. The key is stay in motion. You can do it for 45 seconds. Stay with it. Believe in yourself and push yourself. Down and up. I love it. We get to do this right now. This is amazing. Right on. We're getting close to the end. We're coming up on that 10 second mark. We've got less than 10. Pushing hard through, bringing those feet all the way up for five, four. Let's get one more. Three, two, one, and time. Woo! Great job, squad. That was awesome. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, watch more videos, and comment below. And we'll see you at a Tough Mudder soon.